It's not my pleasure to introduce our other partner, General Danilo Lim of the Metro Manila Development Authority. Yeah. <laughs> A warm morning to all. I'm very pleased to welcome everyone here at Mega Cities at Risk, Engineering Resilience to Seismic Hazards. This conference is a remarkable opportunity for everyone in this venue to deepen our understanding and enhance our abilities in disaster management, especially on minimizing risk and hazards brought about by earthquakes. These are occurrences that every citizen, every Filipino must be prepared for. It is crucial that we as agencies and organizations with the full capacities and resources facilitate initiatives that will both inform and mobilize the people. According to urban policy analyst Wendell Cox, there were only three mega cities in 1975. At present, there are 37 mega cities in the world. Manila is currently first in terms of population density among the top five populous mega cities in the world. Behind is Tokyo, Yokohama, Jakarta, and Delhi. The Philippines is one of the emerging economies in Asia with metropolitan Manila as its only mega city. Populated with more than 13 million residents, Metro Manila is a booming business and economic center. It hosts all the national offices of the government and contributes more than 60% of the country's gross domestic product. Any form of disruption can bring about adverse effects, not only for the mega city, but for the entire country as well, especially in terms of economic losses and national security. Just this Monday, a magnitude 6.1 earthquake hit a great portion of Luzon, while a magnitude 6.2 earthquake hit the Visayas region on Tuesday. It is with a heavy heart that we have lost some of our Kababayans in this tragedy. In spite of this, we were quick to extend our assistance to the affected public by deploying our assets to assist stranded commuters, commuters and more importantly, to the building collapse in Porak, Pampanga, as we immediately sent an SRR, Search, Rescue and Retrieval, team of skilled and dedicated men fully equipped to help in the ongoing search and rescue efforts. Earthquakes are normal occurrences in this country. The earthquake that happened a few years ago in Bohol released enough energy reportedly equivalent to 32 Hiroshima bombs, atomic bombs. So we would never even dare to imagine the scenario had an earthquake of the same magnitude occur in Metro Manila. Certainly, these events can teach us a lot of things. The most obvious is, of course, we need to enhance our preparedness and response capabilities. Even our infrastructures should be structurally sound 
when business establishments and modes of transportation stop their operations, life in the mega city has been widely disrupted. This entails that the interventions currently in place need to be enhanced as risk brought about by earthquake endanger and disrupt lives, livelihood, and our nation's very viability. Public safety, most especially during disasters, is one of the priorities of the government, of the president, as evidenced by the establishment of the National Resilience Team. And with the ever-looming big one, it is also our primary, con primary concern as stewards of the nation's capital. Every year, the MMDA conducts the Metro Manila Shake Drill in, light, in line with the Oplan Metro Yakal Plus contingency plan to prepare the national capital for the big one or a major earthquake. The MMDA also conducts trainings for our citizenry, the private and government institutions for disaster preparedness and response. We must continue to ensure that citizens are provided with the necessary knowledge and training to make effective, safe, and wise decisions. We have always affirmed that disaster resiliency in terms of preparedness and response is a responsibility of every individual, not solely of the government. That is why I am very grateful to the number of experts and on preparing for the adverse effects of earthquakes who have gathered here today to share their knowledge, skills, and practices that we can adapt. The session today will be very vital to all the participants as we explore and discern relevant local and global trends. Today, we will aim to facilitate a knowledge-sharing community as we tackle topics on identifying, understanding, and reducing risk as well as our collective response. Moreover, we will put into action what we have learned through developing a framework which will allow us to partner and collaborate on our action plans to intensify our joint operations on disaster resilience in our country. We each play an important role on earthquake resiliency. Through the result of the collective action from various sectors working together, we are more likely to mitigate and withstand the effects of a major earthquake. I am hoping that this day will be a worthwhile learning avenue for all of us. Let us work towards achieving an efficient system of earthquake planning, preparation, and risk reduction in the Philippines. Disasters are problems that reach beyond boundaries. It is a serious problem that we must strive to overcome. Let us use the opportunity that this gathering provides to interact meaningfully and recognize what each one bring to the table for our collective common good. As members of different sectors, we should see that this is our shared responsibility among all of us, and moreover, our duty to the Filipino people. With the recent years marred by unexpected natural disasters here and abroad, we need all hands on deck now more than ever, and we cannot fail. 
Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat.